My name is Minister Barton Aaron Porter, and today we're going to go into our Father's Word for another exciting Bible study. Now, I'm going to be using the good old King James Version of the Holy Bible, as I always do. So I encourage you to get your Bibles out and to study along with me. Let's approach our Heavenly Father's throne with a word of prayer before we get into this video. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we come with bowed heads and humble hearts, confessing our many sins, Lord, asking that you forgive us, wash us in the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the Savior of the world. We put all our hope and trust in that precious blood he shed for us at Calvary, Lord. And we ask right now, Almighty God, that you fill us with your precious Holy Spirit, as we go into your word, the Holy Bible, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we thank you, Almighty God, for hearing our prayer. Amen. The title of today's Bible study is, Should Christians Teach Their Children About the Tooth Fairy? Well, first of all, just in case there's somebody out there that don't know who the so-called Tooth Fairy is, when you look up the Tooth Fairy on the internet, it says the Tooth Fairy is a fantasy figure of early childhood in Western and Western influence cultures. The folklore states that when children lose one of their baby teeth, they should place it underneath their pillow or on their bedside table and the Tooth Fairy will visit while they sleep, replacing the lost tooth with a small payment. And a lot of people say, oh man, this is just a harmless thing that we do. You know, it's not wrong with telling your kids there's a tooth fairy when the baby teeth come out and they put it on the pillow and we're gonna sneak the money in there. Well, I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, that this is nothing but a lie and God does not smile upon any kind of lies, even the so-called little white lies like people want to claim. There's no such thing as a little white lie. A lie is a lie. A big lie, a little lie, it's all the same thing in the eyes of God. And the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22, lying lips are abomination to the Lord but they that deal truly are his delight. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. Now the word lying here, when we look it up in the Strong's Exhausted Concordance of the Holy Bible, it's the Hebrew word 8267, shakur. And it means an untruth, something that's not true, by implication, a sham. And then they say often adverbio. Then the word abomination, when we look that up, it's the Hebrew word 8481 to, to Ebal. And it says properly something disgusting morally. It says that is as now an abhorrence. And then it says especially idolatry or concretely an idol. So lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. There's something morally disgusting. And the Lord says that we should not lie. Oh no, it's one of the things that he hates. It's one of the seven things that he hates the most. Proverbs chapter six, verse 16 to 19 tells us, these six things does the Lord hate. Yea, when it says yea, that means yes. Yes, seven are an abomination unto him. Seven things are morally, disgusting to the Lord, in other words. I mean, these you can't get no worse than these seven things. The first thing he says in verse 17 is a proud look. The second thing he says is a lying tongue. God does not like that. He hates it. Then it says, and hands that shed innocent blood, verse 18, a heart, which means your mind, that devises wicked imaginations. He hates that. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. 19. 
a false witness that speaketh lies. You see? And he that soweth discord among brethren. So the, the second thing out of the seven things that God hates the most is a lying tongue. And that was in the Old Testament and that's in the New Testament too. Nothing has changed when it comes to lying. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying. Edifying means to build somebody up or to encourage them. That it may minister. The word minister means to serve grace unto the hearers. The word grace means unmerited favor or undeserved kindness. So God says don't let any corrupt communication come out your mouth. None. And when you're lying to your little children about a tooth fairy and leaving some money under their pillow, that's corrupt communication. And it is not harmless. Um, you know what the Bible says? The Bible says this is what you should be doing with your children. Proverbs 22, verse 6, it says, train up a child in the way he should go or she should go. And when he is old or when she is old, he will not depart from it or she will not depart from it. So you should be teaching your children the word of God instead of a fantasy about a tooth fairy. And you shouldn't be teaching them about fantasies about anybody because you're lying. When you tell them there's a big fat man named Saint Nick who comes down the chimney on your house every December the 25th to leave them some toys, you're lying to your children and it is not harmless. When you tell them there's such thing as an Easter bunny called Peter Cottontail hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hop hop, Easter's on its way, you're lying. So we should not lie to our children, period, under no circumstance, okay? And if you do, there's going to be some terrible consequences when judgment day comes. Revelation chapter 21 verse 7 and 8 says, he that overcometh, that means he or she, that overcometh this wicked world, shall inherit all things, God says. And I will be his or her God, he says. And he or she shall be my son or daughter, the Lord says. Verse 8, listen. But the fearful, that's cowardly people, and unbelieving, the ones that don't believe in God, and the abominable, we saw that word means something morally disgusting, and murderers, those who plot and plan and take people's lives. And whoremongers, those who uh, buy sex from male or female prostitutes. That's what a whoremonger is. And sorcerers, those who deal with illicit drugs and, and, and po magic portions and things of that nature. That's what that word sorcerers mean. And idolaters, those who worship false gods in any shape, form, or fashion. And this is what I brought you here for. And all liars. Even the ones who tell what people want to call little white lies about a, a tooth fairy that's going to come and leave some money under the pillow if the, if the child puts their baby tooth that came out under there. All liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. If this particular Bible study has been a blessing to you and you want to bless me with a love gift of any amount, this is how you can do that. I encourage you to go to paypal.com and set up a free PayPal account. And then you can also download the PayPal app. It's free. And if you choose to do it that way, then you would go, use this code to send me your love gift. PayPal.me slash Barton Porter. You can also download the free cash app, which is the one I prefer. And if you choose to bless me using cash app, my uh, code is cash.app slash dollar sign Barton 1014. And then there are people who prefer Zelly. For Zelly, all you need is my name, Barton Porter, and my phone number, which is 630-441-4563. And then I have videos that I put on Patreon. Some people prefer to give their money through Patreon. 
So if you're going to do it that way, you would go to patreon.com slash Barton underscore Porter. Now, here are non-financial ways you can be a blessing to yours truly in this ministry. I need your prayer, saints. Pray for Minister Porter and pray for this ministry. We all need prayer. And share the Bible study videos. If you're being blessed or encouraged or taught through this ministry, share these Bible study videos with as many people as possible. And if you have any Bible questions or prayer requests, you can call me at 630-441-4563. I live in Illinois, so I'm in the central time zone. Be reasonable about the times you call. Do not call me late at night when people are asleep in the bed. That's just not cool. So use some discretion, but I encourage you to call me. Just don't call me late at night. <laughs> and if you don't have a phone, you can email me your Bible questions or prayer requests or whatever you want to send me. You know, if you just want to share a testimony or share some experience, send it to Barton Aaron Porter at gmail.com. Now, these last few things are of the utmost importance, saints. I need your support. I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're being blessed through this ministry, take the time to hit the subscribe button. It does not cost you a penny. I've seen a lot of people watch and study with me on a regular basis, but they're not even subscribed to the channel. Hit the subscription button. And underneath the video also, after you hit the subscription button, there's a little bell icon. Click on that bell icon. That bell is the notification icon. I release Bible study videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Every time a video is released, you will get a notification. It will let you know a new video is available. And underneath the video, there's two thumbs, one up, one down. If you like my video, if you like the content, please take the time to hit that thumbs up button. Very important. These are non-financial ways you can help this ministry. And I need your support, saints. So please do that. And last but not least, it just came to my mind. If you really were blessed by a Bible study video, take the time to put something in the comment section. It encourages me to know that my preaching and teaching isn't in vain and God can use that to encourage somebody else to actually watch the video and see what the Bible has to say about a particular thing. So take the time to put something in the comments section. 